Hmm. Better leave these where Mom won't see them. Tess? Yeah? Come down to the basement. There's something I want to show you. The basement? What is it? Oh, it's nothing really. Remember, uh... This? Gah! Ugh, I hate it. But it's of the dog we had when we were growing up. Lady. I don't think it's Lady's fault I hate it. Who's responsible for this disaster? August. She made it when she was a kid. And Aunt August isn't a rich and famous artist now? <laughs> well, she is one of those things. Not a famous artist, though. <laughs> We've still got a little while before we actually move out, right? Like, a week? Yeah, about... The estate sale was... weird. Having all those people in the house, picking through Grandma's stuff... I'm glad it's over. <sighs> yeah, me too. Are you okay? Mom... I just... We took care of your grandmother right up to the end, and... And now they're selling the house out from under us. I know. Wanna just... Take a minute and look around and see what's left? I haven't really gone through everything since the sale ended. Yeah. Me neither. That sounds really nice. Just... Looking through what's still here. Aside from this hell picture... <laughs> Amazing that no one bought it, right? Just shocking. <laughs> uh, so you're all packed up, right? Good to go? Uh, oh my god. Uh, Just remember that it needs to be done by Wednesday so we can get everything out of here on time. I know.
Ooh, so dapper. Was this Grandpa's? Oh, hey. It's August. Ugh, exhausted. The state sale was a lot. But... <laughs> that's easy for you to say. Yeah, I remember. And the answer is still no. I... Well... The what? Oh, right. Right. Sorry, it hasn't exactly been at the front of my mind. Yeah, it's around here, somewhere. No, it's fine. Okay. Love you. Bye. Unbelievable. What did she say? Nothing helpful. Is she still not gonna help us with the house? No. She was just calling to ask me to find some book of hers. Any idea where it could be? It must be upstairs somewhere, in your grandma's things. It has a red and black cover, white block lettering. I'll know it when I see it. Okay, let's go! Ah, Nevada. Home to all manner of folksy cryptids and cool dads.
I guess I'll have to pass this up next, next shift.
Hmm. Could August's book be up in the attic? Could be. Want to go up and check? Uh, how, how do we open it? I, I can't reach it. Oh, we need the attic hook thing. I left it in my room. Oh, here it is. The attic hook thing. Okay, come on up! <coughs> Damn, it's dusty. Now, where's that book? wedding dress? I wore it on my wedding day, too. And you can wear it when you get married. I think I'd want something more modern. But, well, just look. It's still in such good condition. And it'd be handed down from your grandmother to me to you. Okay, but I'm, I'm not gonna wear it just because it would be Something you want me to do. Oh, that's not it. You know it isn't. Don't be silly. I would just think you would want to. But I just said I don't. You don't know you'll feel that way when the time comes. You might change your mind. Oh, stop trying to... You don't know what I want better than I do. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying you don't know how you'll feel. I know how I feel. If I wanted to consider wearing it for my theoretical wedding, I'd say I did. But I don't. I'd want my own dress, if I even have a wedding, okay? I know better than you. I mean... But it's a nice dress. It meant a lot to Grandma. And to you. Isn't that enough? What's under here? Uh, here, let me grab that. I'll put it up here to look through. Hmm, <sighs> yeah. There's a bunch of old stuff in here. But... Uh... Mom? Hold on, it might still be here somewhere. There's... something... Ah, here it is. Maybe if your dad had read this, he wouldn't have stopped working at the video store. Mom! What's in there? Ah, oh, this is just some junk from the old summer house. Your family had a summer house? Well, it was more of a cottage, I guess. We spent the summers up there for a long time. And you've never taken me to visit? Well, I haven't been there since I was your age. We just stopped going one summer. The summer after my dad died. I think there were just too many memories there. Oh my god. What? Aren't you seeing it? Seeing what? Right here! Behind them? That's a freshly covered hole. Uh-huh. It's obviously the location of the buried bootlegger gold. In our backyard, you mean? Indubitably. Lady probably buried a bone there. Dogs don't really do that. Only cartoon dogs do that. Only cartoon dogs bury bones, but real-life bootleggers bury gold in people's backyards? In 1968? It was a different time, Mother. Sure. Well, whoever this guy was, it sure seems like he and Grandma had something pretty intense going on. Was Grandma Helen... Cheating on Grandpa? No! 
Not the Helen I knew. <gasps> Intrigue. Grandma, what were you up to? Grandma's... diary? Should we? Oh, I don't think... we should really... Oh, Grandma wouldn't have cared. I'm dead. What difference does it make to me? I can hear her saying it now. What is this? So, Grandma and this guy were definitely together before Grandpa died? And they were gonna run away together? You never heard about this? No, this is- a And what is this key to? Why is it hidden in here? Something at the summer home, I assume. I okay, well, now we've got to go check the whole place out. To find out who this mystery man was. Don't you want to know? I don't know, Tess. I, we still have so much to do around here. Come on. It'll be fun. An adventure. I still need to call Tina at the theater and finish cleaning out the fridge. Come on. We never get to do stuff together. You spend all your time at the theater, and I spend all my time in school. When, when was the last time we were able to do something? To talk? Well... You do want to know, don't you? I can see it, Mom. I can see it in your face. <sighs> oh, God. You know, a little change of scenery would be nice. Ha, that's the spirit. We could spare a weekend before we have to move for a little road trip, right? To tie up some loose ends. Right. And some of those little towns along the way are great for antiquing. Yeah, sure. All right, it's a deal. Let's hit the road and see what we find. I could really use a break from all this, even if it's just hack your overnight bag. Yes! And bring your homework. I don't need you falling behind at school. What about August? We can FedEx it to her when we get- Okay. A road trip! This is gonna be great. When did you say the last time you were at this summer house was? Oh, when I was, I guess, 15? Your age? I'm 16. I meant about your age. <laughs> So, a long time ago. Wow. 
No one's been there since, like, the 19th century. <laughs> ha ha. What was the Industrial Revolution like? <laughs> Tess, I wouldn't know. Did you ever meet Galileo? <laughs> Jesus, how old do you think I am? I mean, I'm just estimating. It, it's a rough estimate. It's a rough estimate. <laughs> I'll say. It was the 60s, I think, summer of 68. 1968. So, like, 35 years ago? And you say you're bad at math. What was it like? The summer house? And the dark ages, but yeah, the summer house. <laughs> I just always really liked it there. It was an escape. From what? Everything, I guess. School, town, same old. Every day just felt like it was ours when we were there. So why did you stop going? Oh, um... Yeah, we stopped going as a family when I was your age, and then I went off to college, and then married your father. Did Dad even know about this place? I can't imagine Dad passing up a free summer home where he could just hang out and do nothing all day. So you're saying your father is lazy? No, Dad's a hard worker. <laughs> okay. He'd work late at the video store all the time. He'd be there with the closing shift. Watching movies on the store monitors. <laughs> You've got to have something on for the customers. Closing is a pain in the butt. And he'd manage the schedules and store finances. He even made the window displays. Fine, those were pretty cool. No. I mean, I guess there is a real reason I never told your father about the old summer place. Because I knew he would never have put in the work to actually fix it up so we could use it. It needed a lot of work? Well, not last I saw it, but being unoccupied for decades out there in the middle of nowhere? It's gotta be falling apart. Yeah, you're right. That sucks. I was hoping maybe we could fix it up. And use it as a vacation home? We're about to be kicked out of our actual home. What would we need a vacation home for? To live in? To live in? Tess, I, I'm sorry, it's... You couldn't live there, and not, not year-round. Why not? Why, well, it doesn't have central heat, or even really insulation. It's a summer home, not a winter home. Well, it's better than not having a home at all, isn't it? Okay, you know, we're not gonna be homeless. But we're getting kicked out of Grandma Helen's house. We don't have anywhere else to live. We'll find a place. What kind of place? I don't know yet. We're gonna be living in this car, aren't we? No. Because it feels like we're about to be living in the car. We can find an apartment. How are you even going to pay for an apartment? The theater company, uh, you know... I thought you said it was underwater. Well, you know, it's not doing great, but... Mom. What? When are you going to give up on the theater? Give up on it? I'm responsible for keeping it running. For our performers and our audience and all those kids they bring to the theater on field trips. But... How are we going to have... Money. Things will pick up. Ever since 9-11. Oh my god, Mom. This theory. Theater going has plummeted. Yeah, on Broadway. You think people are staying in because they're afraid of terrorism in Greenville? It's a national trend. You sound ridiculous. Well, maybe I am ridiculous. Yeah, maybe you are. <sighs> yeah. It was easier when your dad was still around. At least we had more than just my income to work with. And then he goes and runs off. Well, have you asked dad if he could send back some money to help? Absolutely not. <laughs> he, he doesn't have the money. But dad moved out west for work. Don't laugh at me. 
I'm not. I'm not. It's just work. Sure. It, it wasn't for work? Then, then what was it then? I think I deserve to know. If he hasn't told you his side of the story, I'm not going to step in and take that responsibility for him, like I always did. Your father left me in a hell of a situation. We made all these decisions together. Do you not understand that? We made decisions that depended on us both, you know, sticking around. I didn't plan for any of this. <laughs> you idealize your father, you know that? And I just <sighs> don't really want to talk about it right now. Fine. Let's never talk about it. Let's never talk about anything important. Is it okay if I turn on the radio? I don't know how much signal we'll get, but yeah, sure. Are you sending text messages to someone? Yes. Yes, I am. To who? It's to whom, Mother? It was Dad. Hmm. Just getting his side of the story, huh? Uh... No comment. It's all right. Having a common enemy can help bring people together. You're not my enemy. Or dads. Sometimes it feels that way. Well, it's... not supposed to. Okay? I just didn't think it would still be here. Um, Mom, it. Well, it is. <laughs> and it looks to be surprisingly well preserved. It's. Well, it's not just like I remember it, <laughs> a little more. Rundown? Weathered than the last time I was here. But, I guess I am too. Wanna start looking around? Yeah. Is this, uh... Is this a trailer home? It's a mobile home. What did I just say? They're not the same thing. A trailer home hooks up to the... A mobile home... Go on. A mobile home 
doesn't have wheels. Well, why didn't you just say that? Well, I, I will admit it took me a moment to untangle the nuances. Nightshade? It was because he could only come out at night. Or stay in the shade, as I remember it. Okay, well that's spooky as hell. August was just a kid. She needed someone to talk to. Did it have to be a freaky, imaginary friend who lurked in the shadows? I mean, what about you or Grandma Helen? Well, I was a teenager. I don't think I was the most, I don't know, compassionate at that age. I had my own problems. If I had a little sister, and Dad died, I'd be there for her to talk to. It's different. You don't know what having a little sister is like. Are you trying to say you were justified in not helping your little sister when she was grieving after her father died? I helped! I did. I mean, we were all there for each other, but... I could have used more help, too. I don't think I had anything left to give. So August made a new friend for herself, one who would always listen. Mom, you know what it sounds like. You had a Francine. <laughs> I guess I did. I've never heard of Lori before. Are you still in touch with her? It was short for Dolores. Maybe you've heard me talk about my old friend Dolores? No, I don't think so. Hmm. I mean, we haven't spoken in years. One of those friends you have in high school and then college happens and, you know... That's never gonna happen with me and Francine. We'll still be friends when I'm as old as you. A very long time from now. Like, so long from now. Wait, you're not implying I'm old? No, of course not. But God, it's gonna be a long time from now.
Oh, look at this big pink guy. <laughs> Kurt won that for me. At the fair. Kurt? We... well... We met at the drive-in diner. <gasps> you had a summer fling? <laughs> I... well... Was he cute? I thought he was very handsome. And he rode a motorcycle. Oh my god, a bad boy? It... well... Honestly, I fell for him pretty hard that summer. It was pretty, uh... Cool? On his motorcycle? <laughs> he was very... romantic. Oh, no. <laughs> no, not like that. Well, a little like that. Ah, oh, no. So, what happened? Did you break up with him, or...? Uh, I don't remember. It was just a summer thing, it doesn't really matter. Wow. Did I hit a nerve? Hey, maybe we should keep looking around for more relevant things? Sheesh, what happened here? Looks like the wall gave way. Water damage, I guess. What is this thing? It's the water heater. Oh, that, that's why you said water damage. I get it, I'm following along. Well, it's not going anywhere now. Can we climb over it? No! God, look at all that rusty metal. I'm up on my tetanus shots, aren't I? We're not risking it. Well, what's that thingy back there? Hmm, it's a maintenance hatch for getting down into the crawl space under the house. Is there any other way into the crawl space? I think there's a way to get in from around the back. Why are you acting so excited? Well, if we could get into the crawl space, we could climb back up out of that hatch and get over to that side of the mobile home to find more stuff. I'm not sure why you're using the plural here. And also, I really want to see if there's any cool, creepy stuff under there. Like a skeleton. Listen, you can give it a peek if you want, but there is no way I'm crawling under there with you. You're on your own. Hey, no problem. More cool, creepy stuff for me. A little tiny key. What do you think it's for? Probably unlocking something. Ugh. Maybe a desk drawer?
Is this... Is, is this... Lady? There she is. Good girl. The resemblance to August's portrait of her is uncanny. Those vacant eyes, the unhinged jaw, August really captured her malevolence. Malevolence? <laughs> she looks like a sweet old dog, but it took August's artistic temperament to expose the darkness within. I love art. What's in here? That's just August's old room. Let's try and find some other way in. It's out there. Somewhere. That buried bootlegger gold. Uh-huh. Bigfoot, too, I hear. Do you think he found the gold already? What makes you so sure Bigfoot's a he? Oh, I love it. Equal opportunity cryptids. Very forward thinking. It's 2003, Tess. Anyone can be a Bigfoot.
Hip van. Thanks. It doesn't run anymore. The engine died for good one year while we were visiting this place. So I just turned it into my bedroom after that. You slept in a broken down van? Well, it was better than sharing a room with August. Did you like redo it to be like a bedroom inside? Yeah. Your grandfather pulled the seats out for me and I set up a little bed frame with a mattress and all sorts of posters and pillows and shelves and things like that. Oh, I've got to see this. Oh, it's locked. Please tell me the keys are somewhere. I need to see what a lava lamp looks like after it just sits there mutating for 30 years. They might have been... Hmm... I can't remember. Don't do this to me, Mother. I have to see how much tie-dye is in there. Please. Oh, August was always trying to steal my keys so she could get in there and mess with my stuff. They're probably in her room. Oh, the little criminal! All right, I'm on the case. The hip stuff is so close, I can taste it. Did you do these with Grandma? No, August did. I never had a green thumb. She loved helping my mother in the garden. Really? Why do you say it like that? I don't know. Can you picture August getting her hands dirty out in the garden now? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> but if my mother was ever out in the garden, she was out there with her, helping the best she could. I remember one year, maybe when she was six, she started crying so hard when it came time to pick the berries and vegetables. But the plants worked so hard growing them. You can't just take them. Aw, well now I feel bad for the plants. She was a sensitive kid. So am I. So what happened? Hmm? To August. She doesn't seem so sensitive now. Oh. Life happened, I guess. Yeah.
So this is how we get into the crawl space? You keep saying we. So this is how intrepid people with an innate sense of curiosity get into the crawl space? Among other personality traits, yes. Fine then, I'll go it alone. You're probably too frail to get in here anyway. Those creaky knees of yours. Wow. Okay, into the filthy crawl space you go. See you on the other side. This is good. Mom's gotta see this.
Mom, I found a way in. Hang on, I'll open the back door. Hey, Mom? I found something. Look, look! Another letter. He wanted to live with Grandma on a boat? Maybe we can figure out where the boat was by looking at the photo. It looks like... well... It looks like a boat. A houseboat. Hmm. Can't see much of the... It's near... Trees? Maybe we can look for some of those. A place in Canada with trees. That narrows it down. Go mechanics! Oh man, I forgot that August had this. I let her keep it when I moved into the van. But August didn't even go to Ford State. She almost did. We were both so excited to, growing up. Don't you remember Grandma talking about how much she loved it? I remember her talking about how sexist it was. Yeah, well, everything was sexist back then. But we're a Ford State family! You'll be a triple legacy! I don't even know if I want to go to college. What do you mean you don't know if you want to go to college? Of course you're going. I can make my own choices. What kind of choice is that? To be broke? I'm not gonna be broke. I've been working really hard on my design business. And August didn't go to college. August was lucky. She's talented, but she's also lucky. When I'm 18... Look, I, I don't want to talk about this anymore. It's not a discussion. Fine. Aha! This must be the key to the van! Oh, it's everything I'd imagined. It's got an ugly lamp, an acoustic guitar, <laughs> a concerning scent of mold? I mean, what do you expect? It's been under this carport for 30 years. That's why I'm not coming inside. Okay, I'll just look around and get out. It is kind of gross in here. Wow. Mom was even into theater back then. Huh. Ah, oh, alas. Not so groovy anymore. How was the stuff? Hip as you'd hoped? Well... I found, um, just this screwdriver from the glove box. That's it. Oh, that might come in handy.
What's in here? That was my mom and dad's room. Well, just my mom's room last we were here. Look, I think I could twist this open from the inside with that little screwdriver I found. Hey, good work. Thanks, Mom. Would you have loved living on a boat? <laughs> I don't think so. I, I wonder what age he thought I was. Wait. I, I, I mean, of course she wasn't just gonna... Sounds like Grandma... Well, look, he said she started having... You think she realized that... Maybe... Can I start calling him Canada Man? You can call him whatever you want. This is so strange. Love makes you do crazy things. Love or grief? Both? Oh, my mom loved this desk. I remember when she brought it home from the flea market. Jeez, how many desks did Grandma have? <sighs> uh, kind of a lot, I guess. I mean, she was a writer. She liked to move around. Well, let's see what she was hiding in here. Ugh, it's locked. Hmm. This gives me an idea. I'll simply smash it open. This beautiful old hardwood roll-top desk? Ugh, this beautiful old hardwood... It's falling apart! I'll smash it. Very... Tess. Oh, right, all right. The little key? From Grandma's diary? <gasps> right.
Find anything? Nope. Find anything? Well, I found, um, this. You guys didn't just drift apart at the end of the summer, did you? No. I came to work at the diner one night, and they said someone had left a note for me. And it was this stupid thing. <laughs> that sucks, Mom. I just felt like such an idiot. I'd put all my energy into plans, planning how we'd be able to stay together, planning how our life was going to be, planning how he'd be the answer for how I was going to be okay. And then one day, this. I don't know if I've ever cried as much as I did for the week after I got this. He seems like... Maybe he just wanted something different than you. Uh, well, he could have told me that. Instead, he just played along, told me what I wanted to hear. Until one day it was just goodbye. Not even face to face, just this selfish little note. And he was gone. There was a lesson I should have learned that summer. You can't rely on other people. What? If you put your trust in other people, if you expect them to be there for you, one day, they won't be. So what, you shouldn't have friends or relationships? Well, no, I just mean... You can care about other people, but you have to be ready for them to go away. And be okay on your own when they do. Are you... You're making it sound like... Are you saying Dad left you? I thought you said you both agreed to get divorced. <clears throat> well, either way, he's not here, is he? Mom, what happened? With you and Dad splitting up? He always makes it sound like... Like you wanted him to leave, but... He does? I, I mean, I... If he's telling you I wanted this, I... <laughs> <laughs> See? This is why you need to be okay on your own. If you're fine on your own, when they leave, you don't have to feel this way. Remember that.
I'd recognize that penmanship anywhere. This piece was clearly done by an accomplished artist. A cartographic prodigy? Do you think there'd be anything there to dig up that was left behind? It'd be like a time capsule. Maybe she was gonna come back for it later. It was her first investment. <laughs> she got started early. I don't know. Let's just go see what it is.
Find anything? Nope. You ready to unearth this mystery? You are really getting into the mess on this trip. Crawling through old crawl spaces, digging in the dirt. It's for the sake of the adventure, Mom. Don't let me stop you. So this is where August buried her feelings. Mom! Come on, it's sad. What? I don't know. Maybe we should keep it. Maybe August would want it. I think so too. We can just put it in the car. Welcome back, Nightshade. What's that? What? Well, I'm sorry. What? What does he mean? When he says those are his kids? I... I... 
W was Grandpa Leo m not your real dad? I... Could that have been why he was trying to run away with you in August and Grandma Helen? I can't even imagine. Look, look, Mom. Look. This one. This note. It has a return address. Pierre Lautrec. Box 9. Hop to Lake, Carndale, Ontario. We should go check it out. What? No. No? But... Tess, we already drove however many hours up here and dug around getting dirty and all this stuff. I'm not driving us to Canada based on some return address from over 30 years ago. We have the rest of the house to pack up, and I still need to call the electric company to schedule our end of the service, which I probably should have done sooner, and... Mom, stop. The house can wait a day. This can't. The house actually can't wait. A day? I mean, come on. It can't be that far of a drive. It says it's right across the border. And if we don't do it now, you think we're really ever going to come back? You could find out who this guy really was. Who your father really was. Who we really are. But not if we just turn around and go home. Okay, listen. Yes. Hey, I I'm not doing this because of your sterling rhetorical skills. You didn't win this one. I just happen to agree with you. I do want to know who my mother might have been mixed up with, and, and why she never told me about it, and who my real father is. And if we go check out this address, we might find nothing. But we might find something. So if one more day of driving is all it takes to find out one way or the other... Then why not, right? Glad I could convince you. No, you just happened to be right. Exactly. Glad you came around to see things my way in the end. Okay. Should we get going? It's getting dark. Yeah. Let's find somewhere to stay for the night. We'll look up directions. Get back on the road in the morning. Hotel night. We're getting room service. Thank you, Mom. Best weekend ever. But we didn't find that hidden fortune you were so excited about. Yeah... Maybe it's on the other side of the border. <laughs> Maybe. Come on, let's get out of here. All right, time to order that room service. Uh, this is not the kind of place that has a room service. I'm sorry. What? Hotels do room service. This is a motel. Just like the summer place was a mobile home and not a trailer. Right, but the other way around. But there's a restaurant and lounge right next door, though. I'm gonna head down there and get us dinner, okay? And I'm going to have a cocktail while I wait. It's been a long day. I'll be back with something to eat soon. Well, all right. That's almost like room service. What do you want to eat? Oh, um, burger? Um, burger it is. Do your homework.
Oh, how lovely. Dirt-flavored water. No thanks. Hey, it's burger time. How's that homework coming along? Fine. How was the restaurant? Ugh, overpriced. But I guess that's the price you pay for convenience. Here's your burger. Thanks. Enjoy. I'm gonna call August. Tell her I said hi. August? Guess where I am? At a motel in Poetan. <laughs> Tess and I took a little road trip. She says hi. We paid a visit to the old summer house. You remember the summer house? Mobile home. Yes, it's still there. Anyway, we came away with some... ...questions about mom and dad. I just... do you think... could Dad have... Oh. Yeah, she's here. Hold on. She wants to talk to you. I'm going out for a smoke, back in a few. Hello, Teresa. Hi, Aunt August. This is all... it's pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, that's one word for it. How do you feel about it? I think...
think it's pretty depressing. Yeah, you're telling me. I wouldn't think Grandma would do something like that. Have an affair. Yeah, me neither. But it was a different time back then, I guess. Pretty rich of her to specialize in giving other people advice. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. My advice is something I don't miss. I was still pretty young when our dad died, so... I think this is all a lot harder on your mom than on me. I never... really knew him. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's alright. I've spent enough on therapy to almost be over it. Did you guys find anything out there? I haven't been since we were kids. We found your old friend, Nightshade. Oh, Nightshade. I'd forgotten about him. Kind of a spooky name. <laughs> yeah. I was a spooky kid. You know, our dad dying really did shake me up. My shade was to try and fill that void, I guess. That must have been hard. Yeah. What about that? It, uh... Yeah. I guess part of me hoped... <laughs> Move what? With me, it... No. Of course. What do you mean? She... <sighs> Look. You should talk to her about it. It isn't my place. Why didn't... Oh, hold on. Love you too, Anne August. And Jocelyn is looking at him, and it's so obvious that she forgot her line. And of course she did, because she only got off book a few days before. And he's just staring at her. Uh-huh. And Todd needs her to say it, otherwise the whole scene makes no sense, and it's dead quiet. It's opening night! And so then, she just says, Who are you? The Pirate of Penzance? Tess? What? Are you even listening to what I'm saying? Yeah... Pirates of the Caribbean, I'm listening. If you want to just drive quietly for a while, that's fine. I can do that.
Can I leave it in my backpack?
Oh no. What? My cell phone. I left my cell phone at the hotel. Are you sure? Yes, I looked everywhere. It's not in the glove box. It's not in my backpack. I, I don't have the charger either. I, I must have left it on the charger at the hotel. We have to go back and get it. Tess, we have been driving for over an hour already. We are not driving all the way back to the motel just so you can have your phone for one day. You don't understand! Francine is going to be worried about me. We text or call or see each other every day. She's going to wonder what happened to me. Didn't you text her before we left this morning? Yeah, but... And your cell phone wouldn't work in Canada anyway. I'm sure Francine will be fine till we can pick up your phone from the motel on the way home. Mom, we have to turn around. We haven't been driving for an hour. We Yes, can... we have. We left one hour and 18 minutes ago. Well, we can drive faster on the way back. I am not breaking the speed limit and getting pulled over and getting a ticket because you can't wait till tonight to you get know, your- You I, know, I wouldn't have left my phone there if it wasn't for you. You, you, you were- and now, and now you won't even go back and- Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I was lying to you? When was I lying to you? You didn't tell me we could stay with August. <sighs> Why would you just lie to me and say August was unwilling to help us? I didn't... I didn't lie. I... She doesn't want to help. Helping would be buying the house, and when I asked, she said no. But she offered to let us stay with her. And I said no. There's a million reasons why that's a bad idea. <laughs> At least we'd be sleeping in a bed and not a car. We aren't gonna sleep in the car. I'll figure something out. Aren't you concerned? We have no plan. You have no plan. I have a plan. I... Money might be tight, but it's not like I don't have a job. Why are you so disinterested in my business? Excuse me? You don't ask me anything about what I do. I have a lot going on right now, Tess. You're always talking about the theater, but when I talk about what I'm working I'm on... I'm sorry, it... honey, but I can't just drop everything to learn about websites. At least Dad... Don't... Bring your dad into this. Why not? Why can't we talk about dad? Actually talk about dad for once. The divorce, the... I don't want to have this discussion right now. Fine. You don't want to have this discussion? I'll just find out when I go to Nevada. What? When I see dad when I go next month. You're not going to Nevada next month. Yes, I am. I already have the tickets. What do you mean? With what money? From my business, I'm going- From your business. I can't believe you. That you would go behind my back? If you just told me what was happening, I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't have to ask Dad to tell me the truth. The truth? Please. Oh, so that's what this is all about, huh? You want to know what's the truth? Fine. Here's the truth. The divorce wasn't mutual. I divorced him. You- your father announced he was going to Reno to become a full-time gambler and expected me to say, Oh, sure, honey, feel free to abandon me and my daughter and dying mother to try out your next get-rich-quick scheme. What? What kind of person would think a marriage could work with that kind of distance? So then I have to be the bad guy, just like always. He gets to run away and be the fun parent, and I have to be the mean mom and do all the work. So I divorced him. I'm sure he's just as proud of his new job as I am, and that's why you're hearing about it now. Uh... So sure, go to Nevada, ask him all about it. I'm sure he'll tell you the truth.
It's a dead end. It's not a dead end. We just have to get out and walk. Where, Tess? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I think it's through here. Thanks for the help, by the way. <sighs> Look, I know you're upset. We both are. Let's just get in, see what we can find about Pierre, and get out. Before I change my mind. Agreed. How are we supposed to get on board? Maybe there's something around here we can use.
blood? Ew, 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 why on earth did I just touch that? This is so stupid. But we... What if you fall off and break your neck, Tess? Or who knows what's even in that... But we're already here. Mobile home. The mobile home was fine. Mm. Okay, fine. You stay here, and I'll see what I can find. No. You don't tell me what I can't do. I... <sighs> All right. No, I should go. No way! What if... I could say the same to you. I should go first. Let's flip a coin, call it... No! I'm going first. It's my filial duty. You really think it's dangerous? If I thought it was dangerous, I wouldn't walk across at all. Great, then we'll flip a coin. I call heads. Oh my god. I won! Just be careful and stay away from the edge! It's locked. This must- I seriously doubt that, but regardless, we'll have to- Can I just kick it in? I'd say you're free to try, but I don't want you hurting yourself. How sturdy can it be? <gasps> Ow! Wow, cool. Tess, don't touch that! Why not? It's just as grimy as anything else in this boat. Plus, I want to find out what the winter campus fashions were in 1968. Ugh, you don't know where that's been. It's literally been right here for 30 years. I mean before that. Like... <sighs> Never mind. And I think it was fringe jackets. The winter campus fashions in 1968? and patterned tights. But really, put that down.
So, I guess that's it. Grandma had enough time on her own. Without Grandpa, without Pierre. She realized she liked things better that way. Can you blame her? I don't know. I would have gone for it. I mean, talk about romantic. A whole new life with somebody who'd go to all these lengths for you. A fresh start. A whole bunch of money. What's not to like? Having to leave behind everybody you know. Your parents and family and Anne make your kids live in hiding. She would have been on the run with a criminal. Is a little romance worth all that? Grandma didn't think so. But I'm not so sure. This could come in handy. Looks like a mailbox key. Oh. Didn't we see some mailboxes up by the gate where we came in? Looks like Pierre tried to mail this, but he messed up the postage or something. Let's crack this bad boy open. Wait, opening other people's mail? I don't know, Tess. 
pretty sure the law frowns on breaking into people's houseboats, too. It's a little late to be getting squeamish now, don't you think? I suppose you- Let's see what we've got here. So Pierre was my dad? He wrote this whole confession, but it never made it. It's been here ever since. I can't believe it. Well, it says right there. I... No, I mean rhetorically, Tess. Jeez. Right, right. Uh, I'm... <laughs> so my mother wasn't having an affair at all. Or whatever this would have been. Not except with Grandpa's secret identity. <sighs> so my father ha hadn't died when we thought he'd had a heart attack. He was just here, on this dock. We never got to know him. He, w he was just a car ride away. August and I suffered over something that never even happened. It kind of did happen, though, didn't it? As far as you knew, it did. You lived with that your whole life, so... So... To you, it did. <sighs> I can't believe I... I can't believe he just... Abandoned us. All this time, he was... Here. Uh, he gave up his family, his children. For an old boat and some booze. I wish I could have talked to him. Just one more time, and my mother living a lie for the rest of her life. I can't, I can't even imagine. I just... Wish she could have trusted you? Yeah. If we could have just... She didn't have to carry all this alone. I can't believe she would do that to us, lie to us her whole life. Why didn't she say anything? Even when we were all grown up. Maybe... Maybe she was trying to protect you. Yeah, maybe. August was so little. But I was old enough to know the truth. I just wish we would have talked. So, that's it? He spent all his money, tried to send this confession, and disappeared, and he never came back? Do you think he could still be alive? I don't know. Honestly, I... I honestly don't care. It doesn't really matter, does it? Either way, he's gone. You don't want to keep going? Maybe we could find... No, I think we've found enough. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mom. He pretended to die. <laughs> but he really just left me, like everyone else. I didn't leave you. Well, maybe not yet. But your dad... <laughs> I thought you said you were the one who kicked Dad out. I mean... Well, it wasn't quite like that. I guess... Listen. I'll give you the full story in the car. I'm freezing out here. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Tess, thanks for doing this. For coming with me. Of course. And for pushing me. To find out what happened. Just doing my job. I know I haven't been the best mom lately. But... But I am so lucky... To have such an incredible... Kind... Oh, mom. <laughs> beautiful... Hardworking... Stop, stop! You make me cry! <laughs> Just... Such... An amazing daughter. I love you, Mom.
I love you too, honey. Hey, Mom. I was thinking about something. I wonder what Grandma would say about all this. <laughs> Good question. What do you think? I don't think she'd be too happy. Now, girls, I hid those private things away so people wouldn't find them. I don't know why you couldn't leave well enough alone. Well, if you didn't want people to find it, maybe you should have gotten rid of it. Well, okay. Maybe I did want you to find it. A little bit. So you asked about what happened with me and Dad. Uh-huh. Well, your dad, you know, was always looking for the next thing. Always had a new idea to try that was going to fix all his problems, our problems. And for a while, it was the video store. And then that sales thing, and then he decided that he was going to be a professional poker player. Is that what you meant by full-time gambler? Yeah. I mean, not really a gambler. He's not playing with his own money. It's all tournaments and stuff. They're playing as a sport. That's kind of cool. It's certainly, uh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, I guess he's following his dreams. He might not make it, but he is going for it. Mm, yeah. I mean, I guess I never really thought about it in that kind of light. I mean, I wish he could have been here, but he had a dream, and he had to follow it. I get it. Right, right, my little web entrepreneur. It's like Matt Damon in Rounders. It's not really like Rounders. I mean, he wins a lot in Rounders, and he's a lot more handsome. He must really like poker. He likes it. But I wouldn't say that's the real reason he left. The split came at a really hard time. The theater was doing worse, and I was spending all my time there. Then your grandmother started really declining and needed more and more help. I think when I decided we needed to move in with her to care for her, well, being a full-time caretaker for his mother-in-law was not something your father ever signed up for. So he left for Nevada. He wanted to stay married. Said we could make it work. But by that time... It was already over. Yeah, exactly. I realized that this... This was a pattern that would never really end. Do you blame me for ending it? No, I get it. You needed his support, and he just... ran away. Kind of forced your hand. Yeah, kind of. That sucks, Mom. But I do miss him. I'm sorry for buying the tickets. Oh. I should have talked to you first. I guess I thought, I don't know, that Dad, like, explained everything to me in a way that made sense and that he was living some great life out there. No, you... you shouldn't apologize. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. I... I guess I was embarrassed. That I would have married such a ding-dong. Professional gambler. I didn't want to have to say it out loud. But I guess you can't keep running away from your problems forever. Now I have these tickets and I don't know what to do. I think you should go. To Reno? Yeah. I think it would be good for you to hear his side of the story. We may not always get along, but he's not a bad guy. And you guys have a good relationship. You should spend some time with him. I think it'd be good for both of you. Are... are you sure, Mom? Yeah, I'm sure. But it's not over Thanksgiving, right? Oh God, no. And Miss August's mac and cheese? Fat chance. I'm proud of you, Mom. <sighs> for what? What do you mean, for what? You're kick-ass. How many moms would stop packing up their house to drive their daughter all over Michigan to search for a family secret? Or run their own business, run a community theater? That's pretty cool. <laughs> all right, all right. 
Maybe not the brightest idea from a financial perspective, but it is pretty cool. Thanks, honey. That, and that means a lot. And speaking of businesses, that's pretty impressive that you made enough money to buy a plane ticket. Yeah, it's exciting that people are willing to pay me to design websites. Well, I've seen what you can do, and you do a great job. Oh, thanks, Mom. I'm serious. When I saw your web stuff, I mean, I don't always know what I'm looking at, but I know it looks good. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> An artist's eye, just like your grandma. And my mom. But maybe it skipped over my aunt. Come on, her painting wasn't that bad. <laughs> well, I guess, I guess I always imagined that you'd go to Ford like grandma and me. It's silly, but, but it's not fair of me. God knows I didn't do everything my mom wanted me to do. Like seeing Kurt? Yeah, exactly. Amongst many other things. But yeah, it's hard to let go. To see you as an adult, not just my baby girl. Mom. You were so cute back then. Even cuter than now. Stop. <laughs> and you had the biggest head. Everyone said it. Everyone said, that's the baby with the biggest head. Bowling ball head, the bowling ball baby. <laughs> yep, and it was all your dad. On my side, we all have perfect, tiny little heads, like golf balls. Mm-hmm. So, what do you think about the whole August thing? Moving in with her? Yeah, I guess it's a big decision, moving to Chicago. Yeah, that's putting it mildly. Would you want to move in with her? It seems like a good choice. Even if it's just for a while, at least we'd have a place to stay. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Are you worried about the theater? Or my school? These days I'm worried about everything, but I'm confident too. Confident we can figure it out. Yeah. We've been through so much this last year. You've been through so much. I just, I have to have faith that we'll continue to make things work. Yeah. Me too. I will say, August's house is pretty nice. Her bathtub is the size of my bedroom. Yeah, I mean, it'll be worth it for the bathtub alone. We should call August and tell her about all this. Oh, hey August, guess what? Our dad really is our dad. <laughs> you can sleep easy. We're not French Canadian after all. <laughs> Whatever we end up doing, I'm just glad... I'm glad you're with me. Yeah. Me too. <laughs>